What's up guys? Welcome to another video with your girl Dina. I also go by Dina. I need to figure out what I want to call myself. Dina. <laughs> I'm here with my little fam. Mine is my daughter. She is working today. That little girl is such a workaholic. Um, she loves it, so I guess that's fine. But I would like her to take some days off to kind of spend time with us. So I told her to um, reduce her working hours. And so that will start happening next week. But anyways, on today's vlog, we're going to be going to the Seattle Christmas Market. My husband saw them or found them on um, Instagram. I mean, I seen a few clips here and there. Um, so it's kind of nice to see that he wanted to go there. So we're on our way now, stuck in traffic. But all good because we're only what 18 minutes away. Are you excited? What the dilly, yo, guy? I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, he was making fun of my channel, like, whatever. I'm probably not gonna, you know, have that name for a while, but it is what it is, you know. I'm still figuring it out. As you can a, see, y'all leave a comment. You guys like that name, or should you think she should change the name to um, something else? Because I'm not really feeling what the. Okay, his channel is the Bobby Jones Show. Whatever. Anyways, oh my gosh. Um, but yes. Um, it's not as cold, so today is a perfect day to go. Um, the weather is probably in the the mid 60s. Um, so I'm wearing this jacket, but it's not too thick, but I'm still warm enough. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to see what they got there. It's kind of like the Levensworth Christmas theme that they're going with, you know, the German, um, hot dog sausages, things like that. But yeah, stay tuned. We just got here, just parked our car, and it's cold. I lied, it's cold. I should have brought my thicker jacket. This kid didn't want to wear a jacket. It's so annoying, but yeah, it's cold. I don't know if I can last two hours here, but we'll see. But at least it's nice and bright outside, right? It's cold. I'm cold. Ew. I'm warming up a little bit because, you know, we're moving around. Definitely, you guys are gonna come here. You gotta dress really warm. No. But chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> I think I want some of that. Maybe, who knows? Alright. To be honest, nothing too special yet. Maybe at nighttime it's a lot better looking with the lights being more brighter. It is so chilly. I definitely should have layered up today. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought about bringing my thicker jacket. And then I went outside. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's not that hot. I mean, not that cold. Maybe I don't need it. But yeah, I should have. And this guy, he didn't want to bring his thick jacket either. Are you cold? I don't know if he's telling the truth or not. Let's check it out. My husband looks nice and warm. So guys, I just tried to go buy tickets to go into the uh, Seattle Christmas Market. There's only like 60 vendors. Um, it's very small. Uh, it's like 20 bucks 
per person for adults and I'm not sure if there's for kids but you definitely have to purchase your tickets prior to coming here and my husband wasn't aware of that nor was I we just assumed it was like a big event at the Seattle Center where you just kind of walk in and enjoy the different food vendors and markets but no you gotta pay to get in just to have access to those 60 vendors I think that's pretty stupid it's very small and yeah no thank you um, but yeah check it out the entrance is right there behind me as you can see can you come up here <laughs> yeah you got it you ain't gonna slip I ain't scared anyways this is the inch so this is the entrance to the Seattle Christmas market I don't know if it's worth to pay to get in just to go visit or see shop with 60 vendors it's very small so climate pledge the one at the mall remember but you scared we, where we went I'll go, I'll go right there. I'll go right there. You can go inside. Um... Hey, what? There's the training wheels on there. What? What? Is that place open? What are they doing there? Let's go look. There's restaurants that are working. They got Big Chick. <laughs> the Shack Shop. Yeah, see? Want to go in? Can we go in? Yeah. Well, you want to try Shack Burger? Yeah. And then Big Chick. Open. Is it open? Can we get in? No, I'm gonna come back here just for the big Dave's hot chicken. <laughs> it smells good. It smells like waffles. It smells really good. <laughs> hey, babe, why do you need to go to Christmas market? We got a market in there. <laughs> and it's free. <laughs> like, why do we want to pay to shop, right? Watch out for your step. This is called the Cool Guys Fry Bar. I haven't been here in so long. They got Wingdom. So this is the Armory, which is an indoor food court. It's better here anyways, because it's nice and warm. That's pretty. Oh, wow, that's a nice jewelry here. This is nice. Look at the, the Hazma um, thing over there. That's pretty good. I like that. You guys have, you guys have some pretty nice jewelry over here. Wow. Do you want something? <laughs> that's pretty nice too. The what was that? Oh. Are these, are these all women's jewelry? Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. We're both like, do YouTube content. We do YouTube content. Yeah. I know this is pretty right here. I like that. Yeah, this is also nice. You want this? 
Uh, you want something? I already spent a lot of money. This is Mexican Baker. Okay, guys, we just ordered um, from Matt Fish Bar. Uh, we got the seafood sampler and the seafood protein. I can never say it. And hush puppies. All right, guys, we ordered from Matt's Fish, and we got some hush puppies, some seafood protein. Potain, I don't know how to say it, and a shrimp um, seafood platter. This was all $49. We got the little, uh, what's it called? Uh, hush puppy. Hush puppy, man. Let's see what it do, y'all. A little bit of everything. All right, I think I'm going to try the potain first. How do you say it? Potain? Potain? potain. Sweet and sweet. Sweet and 
This tastes like a frosting, uh, to be honest. Alright guys, so we're gonna be going to I tried all three different items and I'm gonna rate them. So this I'm gonna give it maybe seven point five. Just because I'm I mean seven point five. I thought it was caramel. I, I thought that was caramel you? and I just did that. I thought hot sauce. I thought it was caramel. Why would there be caramel and syrup with the seafood oh, no, item that we ordered? <laughs> He just dipped his food in Tabasco and vinegar. I just dipped my hot puppy first in vinegar, thinking it was thinking it was maple syrup. Then I dip it in this thing because it's caramel. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, guys. They put that little shrimp in here. The little salty dry shrimp. Okay, so anyways, back to my my rating. So did I say 7.5? Yeah, 7.5 for the fries. And yo, we didn't even get to get into the Seattle Christmas market. But honestly, I don't even think it was even worth it to pay just to get into shop in this little um, section area with 60 vendors. I think that's just, they just tax them, to be honest. Like, where are we going to spend money inside? You're telling us that we have to spend money to get into just to be able to shop inside there? No thanks. Not going to do it. Where are we going to next? I need you here. Guys, and that is a wrap. We are now heading back uh, to our vehicle and about to head home. So... Today didn't go as planned, but overall we had a great time together. You know, memories were still created and it was an experience. Would we come back? Probably not. Yeah, yeah. Big chick here. Oh, he wants a big chick, but there's one in Renton we can go try. It doesn't have to be, you know, today or tomorrow. It could be any day we can go to big chick. But I know you also wanted to visit Dave's Hot Chicken. Yeah. There's a Dave's Hot Chicken here, but I know it's going to be crazy packed. So, this is a pretty cool thing. A little pretty cool sculpture. Made of metal wood. Mopop. Pop Culture Museum. Museum of Pop Culture. I got all backwards. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Thank you for watching my vlog. If you ever come visit Seattle, Seattle Center is definitely a place where you guys should come and visit, of course, you know. It's quite the tourist attraction here in Seattle. I lived here all my life. I don't even been... Um, Alright guys, thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you are ever in Seattle, come visit the Space Needle in the Seattle Center. There's a lot of other great places to visit here. Alright, until then, take care.